What's going down YouTube? You guys already know what time it is. It is time for another haircut tutorial as you guys can tell by the title of this video. Um, in this video I did a haircut on a straight hair waver. It was very interesting because I've never really cut a straight hair waver before, especially one that's more similar to my texture. But even though it was challenging, we definitely got them together. Uh, and you know what, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. Alright you guys, now that we got everything combed out, we're going to go ahead and uh, get straight into it. So, just want to start out by saying, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure you always comb everything out, especially with waves, because if you don't, if everything's not detangled, it can snag on the waves when you're cutting down the top. Um, and if it does snag on waves, it can leave a spot, um, which will be noticed, uh, noticeable when, when you guys have the finished product. So uh, right now I got my three guard. It was all the way open, but then I closed it. I just felt like it popped a little bit more um, when, it, when it was just that tad bit shorter. So that's what we're going ahead and taking everything down with right now. And I'll just go ahead and let you guys watch. All right, you guys, so now it's time to go ahead and set in our first guideline for this back taper. Um, I like to start uh, where I feel like it's, it's a decent amount. Uh, gives me enough room to blend without taking up too high. Um, and then I just go ahead and bought everything out. It's pretty simple, just going a straight line across the head. Um, and then you do the same for the sides. Um, I like to start a little bit lower on the sides because then the lower you start, the more C-cup you have. Um, so you kind of just got to use your barber opinion when it comes to how far and how much of the seat cup you want to keep. Alright you guys, so you guys see that calyx. So what I'm working on right now is trying to get this area down to the lowest possible length without me leaving a bald spot in the middle of his head. Um, so right now you see me with the razor comb and I just feel like I have a little bit more control uh, just because when you use the clipper it really just takes everything down to one length and it can actually leave a gash if you're not careful. So I just felt more comfortable uh, using the razor comb but I'm going in with a little bit of got to be glued and blow drying it in and then I like to blast it with the cold setting just to freeze everything into place um, but it, right now we're just taking down the uh, the neck uh, the nape area where we're gonna put this nice line it's a little bit too thick uh, to put a real nice crispy line so I'm using the tiger claw method you really open up your clipper all the way and you're just clawing at the hair paying attention to the growth patterns because even then here, you can't put a gash in the head. Um, and then right now, we're just trying to keep everything natural. Uh, not trying to take in the neckline too much because then it grows in weird and the longevity of the cut is sacrificed. Okay guys, so I'm really not going to talk too much in the lineup. Um, I'm really just going to say start in the middle. Um, if you like to do the whole lineup, sometimes I start in the middle and then I start in the vertical bars. Line what works for you. Um, I just definitely say start at the highest point. And after you line up that highest point, which is where the calic is, you just match that side to the other side. Um, so my highest point was the left side and the lowest point was the right side. So you have to be confident when you're taking off that hair on that right side or whatever side was the last side you're lining up. 
because if not you can tend to angle your clippers down because you're so worried about pushing somebody back you guys will see me do this in this video but i will go back and uh, fix it um but you know i just kind of i, I kind of wanted to show you guys this just to let you guys know that it is very easy to do this um you guys will see me doing it right now you know um but i'm gonna stop talking and let you guys just watch So you guys, you guys about to watch me skip some steps. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But right here, I got my Andis Masters. It's all the way open. I'm going up about a half an inch. Uh, really just trying to make sure I got a really nice even guy line, a nice base to transition me from bald into the dark. Um, but right here, you see me flicking out my one guard all the way open. I didn't like how I was cutting, so I flipped it and went with the grain. Um, just trying to lay everything down, and then now I flip it back over, going against the grain, going up about that another half inch, maybe an inch. I don't know. Uh, I'd, I'd probably say a half inch on this one and and you guys see man that sucker is blending out i closed my lever all the way just there and i'm flicking in between um that that all the way open um and that lever open um but right here it's time to remove that bottom guideline so i have it halfway and i'm going in between that lever open and then i just closed it all the way and i'm starting below that line that i set in with my trimmers i'm flicking to that line just trying to take that line out and fade that out um and then i'm pretty much detailing in the middle of that uh one guard closed and uh that and that lever open uh no guard and it seemed to just take it right out so i just moved on and i said if i see something later i'll get it um so i jumped into the side with my lever all the way open uh debulking and i have now my no guard all the way open on my andis masters and i'm going up about a half an inch um on this low taper it's pretty much the same steps you guys it's pretty much just shrunk down um you guys see me right here with my one guard closed and then now i'm detailing with my lever open i'm um, just kind of trying to go in in between that one guard and that lever open and then now i'm trying to remove that bottom guideline um that we set in with our trimmers and as you guys see it's pretty damn blended it, it, it ain't too much to do to it um so it's time to do the same steps on the other side and i'll pretty much just let you guys watch
All right, you guys, you guys see it. You guys see it. We are using enhancements in this tutorial. You guys see it, though, man. The, the lineup is crispy. The taper is blurry. We're not really covering anything up. We're just trying to get this haircut to the best I can get this haircut. Um, but you guys see how far back we went, though, man. We are using the business cards. We ain't even using the Tune 45 uh, enhancement card. Uh, so you guys see how... how uh, how uh, late I am on on uploading this for you guys but um, I definitely just I still had to, even though it is old I had to drop this for you guys man I have never done a straight hair waiver tutorial I had to bring it out for you guys but you guys see man we're just man we're enhancing the cut I don't I don't really know how to give instruction on enhancements just because I feel like it's more trial and error um, but yeah, we're using the razor guys. We know trying to get it as crispy as possible pulling that skin um, And angling that razor flat um, and really just taking shorter strokes um, Don't try to take long strokes dust that ash line off and get them to ma maximum crispiness um, But I'll pretty much just let you guys watch All right, you guys, man, you guys see how my guy came in looking, man. He was just like, Woods, I don't care what you got to freaking do to save me, bro. Just save me. So what did we do, you guys? We saved my guy, man. I hope you guys liked the cut, man. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a comment down below. You know what? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, like the video if you like the video. Because why would not you like the video if you like the video? Go ahead, drop a comment down below. Because, man, I really want to hear what you guys have to say about the cut down below. Uh, but, man... Until next time, this is Woods, and I'm out.